Hello and welcome. I am the Sterling and today we are playing City Skylines 2. Now over the last few episodes we have slowly been building up our city. As you can see here on the coast. We've started moving inland which is good. But we still have one major issue. We're hemorrhaging money. We have slowly been bringing it down every episode. But we're just not bringing it down quick enough. The last episode we built a geothermic power plant and we're exporting electricity. We're now also exporting excess water. These things have helped. I have turned off our train network in the hope that that will also bring down our expenses. I will have to turn on our cargo train terminal at some point and our rail yard. That will probably be around the end of today's episode. Because in today's episode, we're going to begin building specialized industries. And that's what this area here is going to be. In the last episode, you may have noticed that I circled this piece of land with some poxy roads. The reason I've done this is this is fertile land and I didn't want to accidentally build on it. But to begin with in this episode, I want to start with our livestock. So that's what we're going to do. Now we have our highway running down here. We're going to have to get off the highway somewhere. So let's plan this all out a little bit. I'll throw down some temporary roads or some permanent roads and work it all out. Now let's have a look at the size of stuff. So if we were to plant grain, grain's going to take up a massive chunk of that, isn't it? How about vegetables? I don't own this section yet. But I do believe we could start oh, looking at it. I could probably split this 50-50 grain and vegetables and then we could do maybe a little bit of livestock down here. Let's get to it. So we've just used up that nice big chunk of fertile land, as you can see. Oh, it's very neat, isn't it? Then again, I do like neat looking farmland and I do like bumping farmland up against things such as mountains and in this case, rivers. Now I'm going to build a little mini overpass somewhere here to connect this farmland to the highway. There's the interchange, not the prettiest thing, but it will do the job for the moment. I decided to upgrade the road straight off from 
the dirt roads. I did like the look of the dirt roads, but I could just see trouble in the horizon and we have enough issues at the moment with money. I don't think we need to be giving ourselves extra issues at the moment. Now, livestock. So we're going to start building the livestock on this side. I've changed this up a little bit so then to make room, our first bit of livestock will place straight here. Okay, we got two new livestock. Now, it's time for us to run and see how our finances go. Obviously, it does help when we connect water and electricity, doesn't it? Unless maybe they're Amish. I don't know. Okay, so we're down now to minus 2,000 an hour. And we'll just have to sit back and see how this plays out. So I've just put in stone mining up here in our industrial area across the river. And then when we get to our next tier, I'm going to buy that square there. And we're, that's where our logging is going to be. Because look at that. That's some dense forest there. I've started building a residential area just outside of the farmland. Sort of. A bit of a country town going on though it's quite dense for a country town this is fantastic it's the best i've seen it yet what's this oh we just got the rock musicians mansion awesome we're only 80 bucks an hour out this is fantastic hopefully we can get in the green this is what we've been working up to ah oh, gone back up to 2000 an hour that was short-lived. Okay, it's time for us to spend another development point. We're going to buy the recycling center. We're now going to build the recycling center and hopefully can start making some money off this. Hopefully. Famous last words. Just had to put in our first firehouse because noticed a couple of buildings have burnt down. That's not good. Money is not looking good. We are down to 900, minus 980 an hour. So, look, we're doing better than what we were, but it's not great. So, I'm making our first park, as you can see. There we go. Park is down here, where all the residential's going in up on the hill. I'm going to have to delete some of that and monitor it. It's being a bit silly. Residential can never be trusted to do as it's told, can it? Don't want all this massive residential spawning in. Look at that silly thing it is, huh? So there we go, look at that. So here's our residential area at the very top, the hill. Put a wall up on the highway. Try and block some of the sound. I've started wrapping the highway now. So as you can see, the highway comes over and then turns and starts wrapping. Because it's going to wrap around and skip across these islands out there. And then it's going to head off over to the highway out that way. How are we going for income? Oh, minus 1,000 an hour. Oh, we're in the green for the first time ever. Look at that. Quickly look at that. Enjoy that while it lasts, because that will go back into the red or not guess we'll find out 
Fantastic. We've just now hit Boomtown. In Boomtown, we're going to get a larger loan limit, which we're going to need. Textile fiber farming, heavy traffic ban, and advanced pollution management. This is great. Now it's time for us to buy a few more tiles. So the first tiles I'm thinking of buying is that one there. So then we can start branching out our real estate behind the schools. And then I'm thinking over here for our lumber. And now we can start our lumber and hopefully get ourselves back up in the green again because now we're majorly in the red once again. And there we go. We've just put in our forestry right here. So now we have forestry here, stone here, farm over here, and then the residential coming in. Now I've put in our textile farm, just on the coast here. I had to buy a couple more tiles, as you can see. We're slowly starting to buy a big chunk of the tiles. Our city's starting to look quite spread out now. Very distinctive areas. So what can I say? A few times this episode, I have had us in the green. We are in the red as we speak, but it is possible for us to get in the green. Every time I've got us in the green, I've then gone ahead and bought more services. Schools, fire stations, hospitals, crematoriums. I've also put down about half of the different specialized industries that we can have. We have forestry, stone, we have different types of farming. Now we can start moving forwards into coal, oil, these sorts of things. I will be finishing this episode today in the red, but I have a lot of faith in this city now that we can keep it in the green. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.